record right there and now I'm just going to go into here and go into here and go into this thing right here turn that off right there go into here object properties bring that down to six and I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to work on the top windows right here. So I'm just going to go into here, go edge constraint right there, and move that right there. Move that right about there. I'm going to go into here, go isolate go so I'm just going to go into here top and I'm going to select this middle right here and just go first of all I'm not going to delete that Probably going to do the exact same thing with this. Tough decision. Guess I'm going to have to go on into here and go and select element. Select that and this, that and this. And I want to just go into here and go clone copy and just separate that piece going into here element delete so that's already deleted right there and then I want to go into here select that and now I just want to go into here Go right click, right click. So I want to try to go into element. Go into element, select that, go delete. So that's deleted right there. So now I'm just going to go into here. And now I'm just going to go top. Because I don't want to delete this part because I have this part already done right here. And that's separated from that. So this part, this one half is different from this. So I decided to separate the different pieces. Which is good. And then I'm going to go into Polygon right here. Go into here first of all. Go into po Polygon. Click on Element. And I'm going to select a Polygon right here. And I'm going to select half of that. Delete that. And now I'm just going to put a loop cut right here. Sweet swift loop. Like that. And now I'm just going to put another swift loop. Right there. Go into polygon select mode. Go loop right. Go into here. Loop. Delete. Go into element. Go 
element like that and I'm just gonna go into here and go hide selected and then I'm just gonna select edge right here and I'm just gonna go bridge go swift loop like that and then I'm just gonna go polygon unhide all right there select element right here go inverse selected go hide go into here select this right here go bridge right here so we have that all selected and this is like the the one of the other half that we're going to do right here is this piece right here think that's it yeah this is going to be like a separate piece from here so i'm just going to go into here and Just go into here. So I'm actually going to select border right here. And I'm going to select regular polygon. Deselect that right there. Deselect that right there. Go into here and go bridge right there. So we have that now selected right there ready to be used. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and go into here because we're kind of going to do like un unhide all. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this if I were to go out of here and just close most of that actually I'm going to go into here and I'm going to select that right there and select this right here because this is the piece that we're going to be doing right here is this this is the main piece that we're going to be doing And this is what we're going to be doing. So this is the piece that we're going to be doing is this right here. So I'm going to need like a lot of these pictures which is this. This. And this. As well as this. that too as well so we need this right here and what we're going to be doing is now we're going to be st starting to do the window so I'm just going to go into here go into this part right here go into top and now I'm just going to go out of edit go out of go to top level Select this right here and I'm going to go copy like that and I'm just going to take that off and take Turbo Smooth off. Go into here, go attach and attach this right here and now I'm going to go into vertex select mode. Select this right here, 
all of that. And now I'm just going to go into weld right there. Make sure that the weld is uh, set to 1, 0 0.1. So you don't want any higher than that because it's going to weld unnecessary vertices. We just want that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're going to turn on what's the so-called turbo smooth. Set that to 1. And now we're just going to go out of that. And now we're just going to go to the top level right here. And now we're going to start doing the windows on here. So I'm just going to go out of an isolation. And we're going to do this piece that comes out right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set um, a cube that's going to be like a box going to wireframe like that, like that, like that. And I'm just turning that off. like that. We're going to go scale that down like that. And scale that down like that pretty much. Move that up. So I just want to make sure I get this right. So kind of like this. Now we're just going to go into here, convert this to edible poly, go into here, select that, select this right here. Select this right, right about here. That, we're going to select that right there. And now we're going to do swift loop right here. Put a swift loop right there. 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 And there. So now we're going to go into front right here. And now we're going to go into vertex select mode. Move this right about there. That right about there. That right about there. And we're going to move that right about there and this like that. Kind of like that. So we have that already selected. So now I'm just going to go into here, select this. Like that. So now we're just going to go into here and we're just going to go
effect hierarchy and we're going to set this at 0, 0, like that, fix pivot point, and now we're just going to go to the top view right here. And now I'm just going to go duplicate like that. And now I'm just going to go into here and go into edit. And then I'm just going to go attach and attach that like that. And then I'm just going to go into here. Select the middle right here. And then I'm just going to go to the wild caddy. Bring this down to about one like that. And just select that right there. And we have that now selected. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. And we're going to go into Turbo Smooth. So it looked exactly like that. So now what we're going to be doing now is going out of that. And now I'm going to try to end up getting started on the window. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to construct plane. Make sure that snap grid is on and like that and I'm going to go into tra transition or move tool or you can right click. put that down there and I'm just going to go into here move this up move this right in here like that like that pretty much Go into edible poly. And I'm just going to go into here, top view, move that right about there, like that. I want to get this where this is not touching this too much. So move on right in there, right in there, I think. And we're going to do the exact same thing with this. We're going to move that right in there. Move 
move that down like that. We're just touching that. And we're gonna move this down right about there. Kind of like that. So now we're gonna do swift loop again. We're gonna do like a couple of vertices right here. And we're gonna select that and move that up like that. this up like right about here kind of like that right there so we have that already selected ready to be used right there and now I'm just gonna go top right here so I'm just going to go in here here and raise that down like that like that where that's not going protruding through there so now I'm just going to go into here and I'm just going to Select these in, or I'm just going to go into element, go into element, and I want to try to go and set polygon, right click and set right there, and I'm just going to go into here and then set that like that, and set that like that, like that pretty much. And I'm just going to go into here and go into here, loop, loop, go into here, extrude, light dot. flip loop. Like that. <clears throat> so we have that all done, ready to be used. So I'm just going to go into here and hit. Turbo smooth. And that's it, turbo smoothed. Ready to be used. 
So the only thing I have to do now is I'm done that part, I think. So the only thing I have to do now is this button right here, I think. And then that's pretty much it. On here is that main part right there is doing this main part. And what else? I'm doing this main piece that's going to be used right here. Which I can probably model that right in the actual program itself. So let me see how much time we have. Wow, that's 25 minutes. Guess we can do a little bit more. So I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to go into geometry. Go into go into grid and I'm going to snap to face turn off grid body snaps face like that vertex standard vertex and I'm just going to select that go into sphere Snap that right about there. Snap that. And I'm just going to go into here and go scale that. Cancel that. Scale that right about there. Like that. And I'm just going to go into here. And I'm just going to go like that. And I'm just going to go rotate like that. Rotate. Like that, pretty much. And move that right about there. And copy. Rotate this. And I'm just going to go into here. Rotate this along that axis. So we're just going to go into here. And I'm just going to go shift move that right about there and I'm just going to move that up like that move this and like that and I'm just going to move this up right here
like that. And I'm just going to move that up. Rotate this right about like that. Move that up. Move this up. So now I'm just going to go into here and go into this object right here to take off Turbo Smooth and I'm going to take off Turbo Smooth. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to attach this, that, that, this, and that right there and make that one object. So now I'm just going to go out of that and just, so I clicked on here to go out of there. So I'm going to take off Turbo Smooth right there. And first of all, I'm going to go into here, move hierarchy in the middle so I'm going to go into here and I'm going to move this into the middle zero just going to go right there and I'm going to duplicate right here go into edit menu go into element select that delete that and I'm just going to go into here and go attach like that And now I'm just going to go out of, out of here. And now I'm going to select this right here. I want to go into element, select that. And I want to go f flip right like that. Like that. And now what I want to try to do is go into here and go clone clone instance go into here element invert select invert delete dot and I just want to go into here select this element delete dot and now I'm just going to go into here go attach and I'm going to attach that and set this color to around a pink like that go into here no not like that so I'm going to go out of that going into here I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go attach that right there. So that's now attached right there and the windows and the top windows are now done. So I'm just going to go into here now. And I'm going to attach that right there. So first of all I'm going to go to that. Going into here. Take off Turbo Smooth right here. Go attach right there. So that's now attached. So 
So now I'm going to go into here, go into Edit Menu, and go into Turbo Smooth. Bring that up right there. So we're done the window now. Yippee! Yeah, hey, hey, hey. We're done the window. And we're going to go into here. We're going to go isolate right here to see what we've done so far. And that's what we've done so far. Very excellent job. A nice basically Nissan 300ZX. And I guess that wraps this up for our tutorial for today. Because we're now done basically. And it's now basically 36 minutes. So I really hope I helped you out a lot basically with the tutorial. And keep on watching my tutorials. And please subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.